In the spring of 2018, we had a number of schools growing mint in teapots for mint tea, if you get the pun. Uh, and this year, for a bit of a change, I thought we'd have a go at trying to grow some of the scented leaved pelagoniums. The variety Attar of Roses is said to be very good for uh, making tea, uh, but there are other different kinds. I mean, there's this one, Angel's Perfume, there's the lemon scented Citriodora, but I'm going to have a go with the Angel's Perfume. And here are some cuttings that were rooted just a few weeks ago. If you want to follow our lead, then it's quite straightforward. You're just looking for little shoots and, and cut above a leaf and then trim them off just below a leaf. And you take off the leaves and the stipules, these little tiny pieces. If you leave those on, they tend to rot. And that makes a very nice little cutting on a light warm windowsill in a bit of uh, seed and cutting compost that has some perlite mixed in with it they will root in about uh, 8 to 10 weeks at this time of the year and even quicker in the summer as I say I've got a pot here that I hope will be already rooted let's just see if that comes out gently there we are And that has a really nice lot of roots. I'll keep that one there because that could go right in the middle of the pot. Now what I'm looking for is another one with just a few roots as that has there. And then with luck I can just very gently get rid of that bit of stick, tease that down into the spout and then feed in a little bit of compost behind it. If you've got a match, you'll find that uh, that works quite well. So then we've got a little cutting that will grow out of the spout. And then here, I can put my much bigger plant right in the middle there. A bit more compost. Now, of course, uh, teapots don't have drainage unless you uh, drill a hole in the bottom and I'm not proposing to do that with this one. And so if you've filled that with some really nice damp compost, and I can tell it's damp because if I squeeze it really hard, the moisture will just come from between my fingers. So that's really nice and moist. And when I've done that, I just pop it on the scales and weigh it and then if you want to see when it's when it needs water pop it back on the scales and when it's lost an ounce or two you can apply an ounce or two of water and it should be fine you won't waterlog it so keep your fingers crossed hopefully in about four months time we'll have a really nice scented pelagonium for pelagonium tea